So we're gonna do a little experiment here. Um, since everybody always likes to say all inside bends and stuff, we got a really big gravel bar and inside bend here. And then we got the outside bend. First pan sample here is gonna be from outside bend right there. There's like some nice hard pack down there and possibly I'm getting into some decomposing bedrock. I'm guessing that's where the best gold's gonna be since this bar and most of these, most sandbars or gravel bars that you see on a creek are very recently made. Um, and generally it's not gonna be gold in them because we haven't probably had a flood that moved gold in a very, very, very long time. We'll say that my hypothesis is not since probably about the ice age, except for in select circumstances. So 10,000 years ago. So generally, you don't get much gold moving through this fluff. This ephemeral stuff that moves through the streams is all loose and stuff. Most of the gold is locked up down on bedrock in the hard pack on top of bedrock. It's extremely hard to rip up and out buried under the floodplain, which you can see some, some gravels there and stuff. We're gonna take this pan sample, see what we get, and then we'll take some pan samples out of the gravel bar here and see what we get with that. Maybe we'll get to panning this out. This is the stuff, yeah, I like to see when I'm panning is this, this grayish green material is the decomposing meta, meta gray wacky phyllite type material. Um, and yeah, when it's doing that, that's a, I like that. That's not clay. I mean, it is, but it's decomposed bedrock is what it really is. So that's some nice looking material, but we will see what we get. Dump that there. It'd be nice to find a nuggie, that ain't gonna happen. Just some pickers earlier today. Alright. Shake, rattle, and roll. Heavy the saddle. There's very light black sands in this creek too. And some gold so far, mainly finds. But it's been here, and it is here. And the feeder creeks are producing bigger gold. But most spots on this creek are producing some finds, so that tells me it's probably a pretty decent creek. It's not too bad. Uh, just a random spot on the outside bend here. So, next up, I'll take a sample of the gravel bar. Okay, so now we're gonna take a pan out of the leading edge, kind of. Leading edge of this big gravel bar. Kind of in here where there's some bigger material. See, it's unfortunately predominantly sandy. Got a little bit of bigger gravel in it. Okay, let's pan this baby out.
probably be very little black sand too, even compared to the other one, even less than what's normally in this creek, which is very little. I do think I see a little flake that's just being collected. There's a little bit of flood gold here. But it's one small speck versus six. Still, so, yeah. I generally don't take much into these bars. Most that I have sampled don't have anything in them, and I'm when I'm talking about this too, I'm talking about predominantly East Coast Piedmont areas. Um, out west and other areas, completely different ball game. Your flow rates and drop and everything is just completely different. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep on walking. Beautiful area. Though. 